What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. Today we're going to be having a look at shark threat displays or as they're more commonly known in the scientific realm, agonistic displays. I read a really cool research paper that came out last month which shows it very nicely in white sharks. But also at the same time it's a pretty cool shark behavior thing for you guys to know about and hopefully understand, which may at some point come in handy if you ever do find yourselves in the water with a shark. So we're gonna have a look at the paper, discuss some of the different types of agonistic displays within sharks. And then later on in the video, I'm gonna show you some real examples of sharks performing these behaviors in the wild. Okay, so shark behaviors are actually a little bit more complex than we first realized. But all animals in general have a set of communication skills that they use because obviously unlike humans, humans, they can't use words. And it's these social cues that make sure certain rules are followed and hierarchies are kept in place between animals. Usually these communication behaviors are made between members of the same species. For example, you might have seen in wolves, or even dogs for that matter, individuals submitting to one another by rolling over and exposing their underside. And then in bird species, often birds will bob their heads around to communicate things to other birds. But every now and again, an animal might make a communication display to a member of a different species, and normally it's us humans. Shark species are no different. They communicate with each other in a whole host of different ways, some of which we're only just starting to understand now. And I imagine there's a bunch of different behaviors that sharks do that we still don't understand. But being able to recognize when a shark is uncomfortable or feels threatened is a really important skill to have if you choose to spend time in the water with them. Because when a shark is giving you certain signs that it's not happy, it's probably time to get out of the water. <laughs> and when it's chilled out and calm, if you can recognize that, then you can have a really nice, safe, interaction with that animal. So the paper that I read last month was specifically looking at an agonistic display from a white shark in Guadalupe, Mexico. The actual encounter happened all the way back in 2015, so it strikes me as a little bit weird that the research paper is only being published now, eight years later. Maybe the authors just didn't have time to publish it, or they're only just stumbling across the photos that they took now. I'm not really sure, but Regardless, it's still very cool. So the specific agonistic display that was on show here was a depressed fin display. And what's really interesting about this is that it's probably the first record of a white shark performing this behavior to a diver who was in a cage. Fin depression in sharks as a agonistic behavior isn't something that's new. We've known lots of different shark species that have performed this behavior down the years. I think the Carcharinid family of sharks are usually the shark species that have been documented doing this, but I'm pretty sure it's been witnessed in over 20 different shark species. Essentially what it is, is when a shark lowers its pectoral fins from up here, very sharply down below its body. It's also usually accompanied with a hunched or arched back as it's doing this, and it's pretty widely accepted that this is a threat display, which basically means the shark, for whatever reason, isn't happy about something within its close proximity. In the example from the research paper, the white shark in question, which I believe was a four meter long male white shark, approached the dive cage from below and then eventually leveled out at around the same depth as the diver in the cage. The shark then turned towards the cage, raised its head, and and snout slightly and had a visibly hunched profile, which you can see here from this diagram of the incident. At the same time that it was hunching, it lowered those pectoral fins down at a ridiculously sharp angle. And you can see here from these pictures, the shark went from this very relaxed, chilled out approach as it was ascending to this with those pectoral fins almost at a 90 degree angle pointing downwards. It's a real marked change in its body posture and it tells you that the shark isn't happy about something. The shark continued on its approach towards the cage and when it was only a few meters away, it sharply turned and then swam rapidly in the opposite direction. Now, what triggered this agonistic display is a mystery. Realistically, it's one of two things. It's either A, a response to unnatural things in its environment, i.e. the diver or the cage or the boat, or B, it's a response to another shark that's somewhere in the water. The scientists who were there that day didn't see another shark in the vicinity when this particular shark was performing those behaviors. And the water around Guadalupe, Mexico is very, very clear. So you would have thought they would have seen one if it was around. But the scientists point out that they can't rule that out because human eyesight underwater isn't that great. <laughs> Saying that, I do actually think it was more likely a response to those unnatural things in its environment, i.e. the boat, the diver, and the cage. So even though in this case, the shark wasn't particularly aggressive towards the diver or the cage itself, it's still pretty indicative of an unhappy shark. There's a good example of this happening in a shark attack, I think in New Zealand back in the 1960s. And that was where spear fisherman Graham Hitt was fatally mauled by a four meter white shark while he was out in the water. In that incident, one of the witnesses who was with Graham at the time of the attack 
said that the shark was swimming around in an agitated manner and that it was, and I quote here, balancing and pivoting on its pectoral fins, which basically sounds like the description of a depressed fin display. The shark in question was reportedly performing all of these behaviors before it bit and eventually killed Graham. So it's a pretty good bet that if a shark is showing you these kind of signs, it's time to move away quickly, but calmly. Okay, right, who wants to have a look at some real world examples of these behaviors happening? So this one isn't the best example, but it's the only video that I could find that somewhat shows it happening in great white sharks. In this example, we've got a cage diving experience and a number of different white sharks cruising around. So this particular individual here is coming across from the left-hand side before this white shark on the right moves in very quickly and bites down hard on the side of that smaller individual. Now, hands down, this is 100% a territoriality bite from the other shark, making sure that it asserts its dominance, but it's likely that the smaller shark that got bitten was either ignoring or didn't see the behavioral cues from the shark on the right before this happened. It's not the best angle, admittedly, because we can't see the biting shark until it's basically on top of the other one, but if we slow it down here, you can see those pectoral fins from the shark on the right are well and truly pointed down. It's not not as defined as the pictures we saw from the research study, but they're definitely depressed. I'd say it's probable that this particular shark was performing the depressed fin display while it was off camera and out of view, which was then ignored by the other shark and bang, then the aggression is shown. Okay, so this next one is an oceanic white tip clip. I'm actually gonna be using this one in the next Shark Scientist Reacts to Shark Attacks video we do, but it actually demonstrates the fin depression stuff really nicely. And in this example, it's doing this to a diver who's in the water. So initially it's a little tough to see here because the shark is being filmed from below, but as it starts to level out and come towards the diver, we can see that this oceanic white tip has its pectoral fins well and truly depressed. They're almost arched and definitely pointed down. And it's doing this at exactly the same time as it's getting right up in that diver's grill, circling back and around for multiple passes, which is a clear threat display. And if it wasn't for the few bops on the nose with his camera gear, I'm pretty sure that that shark would have bit the diver. I'm not gonna talk about that one too much because I do wanna save it for the shark scientist reacts to shark attack videos that we do. If you did wanna watch one of the previous ones we did though, make sure you click that link there. I'm pretty sure there's a clip in that of an oceanic white tip shark that bites a snorkeler and you can definitely see the depressed fins from that oceanic white tip. So give it a watch. Anyway, in both of those clips that we've just watched there, you can see that fin depression is usually a precursor to an aggressive behavior. But fin depression isn't the only behavioral cue that sharks give off as a threat display. One of the other very obvious threat displays that sharks perform are head and body shaking. These ones to the untrained eye might just look like that shark's got an itch or there's something irritating it around its head, but it's definitely an agonistic threat display. They're not too hard to imagine based on its description, but it's essentially where the shark rapidly shakes its head or its body and it almost looks like it's shivering. And again, they're well documented across a variety of different shark species and it almost always means that shark is annoyed by something usually a snorkeler or a diver. So I've got two real world examples of this that I can show you. The first here is of a gray reef shark in Malaysia, and it's actually pretty easy to see why this shark goes on to give off an agonistic display because the diver in question is definitely chasing that shark around the reef. But as it moves off out to deeper water, bang, we get the head and body shake right there. And that's essentially the shark telling the diver that it's not happy about being chased around and is in no uncertain terms telling him to back up. And then here in this next one, we've got a lemon shark cruising along pretty calmly amongst some divers, generally minding its own business before bang, again, we get that really defined head shake with a quick turn towards the diver and the camera. Now, it's a little bit tricky to determine exactly on this one what caused that threat display because another lemon shark crosses paths with this particular one just after the display, but based on the cameraman being that close to the shark, I think it's more likely to be a display at the diver rather than the other lemon shark. So you can see those behaviors there are shown fairly obviously, but I've chosen those ones because they're extreme examples, which makes it easier for us to see them. The likelihood of these behaviors occasionally being quite subtle though is still relatively high. And I think you can see that quite clearly from the great white shark clip that attacks the other one. That fin depression was very, very subtle. And what we have to remember is that these are wild animals. We might think we understand their behaviors, but we can't just jump in the water and expect to know exactly what they're thinking every single time. But what we can do is look for little clues here and there to inform us of what that shark might be feeling in that situation. These are also just a handful of some of the behaviors that sharks perform. And the two that we've spoken about today are very visual and easy to see. But there's a whole host of other displays like gaping and yawing, 
gill billowing, rag, I could go on, but I'd run out of time. If you want another video in the future, by the way, looking at some more of these behaviors, then make sure you let me know in the comments. Now, what I want you guys to do is go and have a look at some previous Shark Bites episodes that we've done where we've looked at shark attack clips from the internet and see how many of the behaviors that we've talked about today are present in those clips. I think you'll mostly see the fin depression ones, but make sure you go and have a look for yourselves. I'll also, of course, post the link to the research paper in the description below so that you can read it if you want to. Make sure you stick around to the end screen as well, where you're going to be able to watch some more of those shark scientists reacts to shark attack clips from the internet. If you wait around 10 seconds, they're going to be popping up right here. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please, please do give it a like. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bite channel below by clicking that big red subscribe button. And that way you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.